Hey guys, welcome to Wellington, New Zealand. <laughs> Quite a different place to uh, where you last saw me. So today I'm going to talk about five things I would do differently next time I do van life. So, number one, the, f the first thing I would do differently next time would be to buy a bigger van. So, I had the Volkswagen T4, and to be honest, it was fine. It was it was big enough for one person for sure. I wouldn't want to do um, van life with two people in in a VW T4. But um, yeah, I had the short wheel base version, and I, I guess the issue with a bigger van, it's not so much just the length, it's the height. So I didn't have a pop top or anything like that. So basically, I, I couldn't um, I couldn't stand up straight in the van, which meant basically uh, cook, things like cooking and stuff was just a bit awkward, having to like lean over and. You know, I honestly didn't think it would be an issue initially, but, uh, you, you know, not being able to stand up straight, but yeah, I, <laughs> I think it's going to make a big difference. So next, the next van I'm going to buy uh, would be bigger, and at the very least I'll be able to stand up in it, but I think what I'd probably go for is something like a Mercedes Sprinter. Uh, medium wheel based version so um, yeah I, th I think that would be perfect for me for one so uh, I'll pop a picture up maybe uh, if I can find one online later and then you can see see what I'm talking about but um, but yeah that the van would be I'd, I'd get a different base van so, so that's number one so number two uh, the second thing I would do differently for van life, it uh, re it's related to the van again, and uh, so the van I had didn't have any insulation, didn't have proper insulation, so basically when it was cold it was very cold, when it was hot it was very hot. And the other problem I had was, uh, particularly when I was in England, not so much of a problem in Spain and Portugal but I had some issues with damp and I could kind of smell it and I don't think it was that bad but um you know I, I, I don't know it's it's not good to to have any damp in a van and you know I've watched enough YouTube videos to know that insulation is like really important so you know depending on if I bought just a, a basic plain van or if I bought say um, yeah, one that's already kitted out, I, I would definitely ensure that it's insulated properly. So, okay, that's number two. Num number three, uh, I'd make a better, better choice when it comes to the countries. So, I was really, well, and what I mean by that, I mean, I, I, I really wanted to go to Spain and particularly Portugal anyway, but what I mean by choices it's just it's a time of year basically it's more more than the choice of countries it's just really like I mean I was in the UK in May and part of June it was really hot there um, but you know I think it was kind of exceptionally hot <laughs> and uh, you know it's still manageable there were a couple of days when it was when it was really hot and I didn't really want to you know I couldn't really sit in the van if I wasn't under any shade but um but obviously that time of year, May, June, Ju and then, you know, going into particularly July and August, you know, I really should have been sticking to Northern Europe. Uh, sorry again for the wind if you if you can hear it, but uh, it's just picked up again. Yeah, so really I should have stuck with Northern Europe. Uh, so maybe Scandinavia, you know, UK, Scotland, Ireland, Denmark, 
maybe Eastern Europe as well, but more to the north. Uh, that would be certainly my recommendation. So what I did, I obviously, when I left the UK, I went straight south. And you know, if you've been watching my videos, you'll you'll see I, I struggled a bit with the heat, particularly in Portugal. Um, and I, I ended up kind of leaving early just because to get away from the heat. And you know, I had this really bad itchy rash that just seemed to disappear once I got away. I don't know if it's just very dry heat that made my skin so itchy, but it just drove me crazy at some points. But um, it comes back really to poor choice of country uh, at that time of year. And again, Spain and Portugal are very popular holiday destinations. And, you know, I, I always managed to find somewhere to stay and stuff. But um, again, really, I should have been doing those countries in in spring and autumn so like March April and maybe uh, maybe September onwards even October November and, and maybe through the winter so that's number three number four is something I, I must do next time is to take out breakdown cover roadside recovery insurance or whatever you want to call it so for half the journey, I for, say for half my five months in the van, probably, well I tell a lie, while I was in the UK I had roadside recovery, I had breakdown cover because I was covered, it's much easier in your own country um, to get cover and I paid green flag, I think I paid £30 and it's all good. Once I got over to France and Spain and Portugal, I didn't have any cover for maybe one and a half months and I kind of thought originally I would just wing it you know and if I did have a problem and then I've got Google Translate you know generally always got data on my phone I can you know call you know I can find a local garage and call and I just thought I'd be able to kind of sort it out <laughs> um, if if that you know if a, a situation arose where I broke down but uh, luckily that didn't happen but the, the, it just left me with a very uneasy feeling all the time and you know you become hypersensitive to like any strange noises in the engine and there was two occasions where it didn't start the first time when I turned the key the, the van but yeah I mean it was fine I think it's just the way I kind of turned it but, um, anyway it's just the kind of stress um, the, the problem why I didn't get insurance initially is um, breakdown covers because with an old van it's just like it's nearly impossible to get breakdown cover and if you, you can pay like 300 pounds and only have one call out which is just crazy uh, so but I managed to get this bank account the nationwide flex plus and it actually included the cover uh, breakdown cover in Europe and it, pretty much any age there's no restrictions on the vehicle so so for the kind of second half of my Spain Portugal and French journey uh, I had breakdown cover and yeah I could relax and well I mean I didn't have to call it in the end but um the account's quite useful anyway it's got travel insurance and linked to it so and it costs like seven pound a month <laughs> for the account and you know you get that breakdown cover included so it's an absolutely awesome deal so yeah number four is get that is get breakdown cover next time not have to be worrying all you know on <laughs> anyway that's number four finally uh so this kind oh sorry <laughs> sorry guys I'll probably edit that out a bit out if I can be bothered, but maybe I won't. Yeah, so fi finally, uh, number five, it, this kind of relates back to the weather the, the, um, and the country I was in. It's basically to travel slower. So, I mean, it wasn't like I was racing around, but I covered quite a lot of distance in a relatively short space of time. You know, the reasons why, I, I don't know, why I just wanted... You know, five months in that van was kind of long enough, and I guess I hurried a bit to get back to sell it, uh, and then move on to do other things. So, but um, so the a couple of people I met in Pamplona who 
Uh, I featured on a, one of my videos, had a photograph of them. Very nice couple from Sweden with their dog. So they really do, they're still traveling in their van now in, in Spain. And you know, they really have the whole slow travel thing really, really nailed down very well. And I think they're currently somewhere near Marbella. And so basically in the time I left them would have been September, I think, or August. I, uh, they were tra traveling south, I was heading north. They've only crossed Spain <laughs> in like, what, four, three or four months. Um, and you know, they've traveled about, it's not like they've not been moving around, but you know, they've, they've just done the slow travel thing and I think they found a really good place and they stayed three weeks. And I think that was my original intention, but <clears throat> going back to the van itself, because I wasn't that happy to be in the van <coughs> excuse me because of the size and everything and the heat I, it just kind of ended up hurrying around and it's a shame but definitely travel slower that would be one of my tips uh, for anyone and that's something I'll do differently next time so anyway guys well uh, yeah it's been a while since I've updated the channel I'll do some more like van tip uh, videos and some other bits here and there Obviously the the main thing with the channel is this kind of alternative living and van life so at the moment I'm kind of traveling around the world a bit <laughs> so I'm not really in that. I mean I have plans uh, maybe this summer to do something similar but in a car, in a big car, um, big, I say big car, that's despite the fact I just said I, if I was going to do this again it would be in a big van but um, I, I do have maybe this plan to just buy like an old car and one that you know if it broke down I had to, had to like scrap it it wouldn't matter um, but just to see how far I can get traveling east uh, but I, I don't know they're just rough plans at the moment but um, the van life yeah maybe in a couple of years for sure but uh, we'll, we'll see maybe sooner because it you know it's definitely a cool thing anyway guys well that's my five um things i would do differently and uh yeah so um wellington as you can see looking very splendid it's new year's day actually uh, lots of people out uh new zealand of course is a really good place and um, to do the van life uh you know maybe one day I'll, I'll buy a decent van here they're, they're really expensive actually vans you get way less of your money here but um you know it's uh oops. it's uh, a great country to tour around in a van so um i did have a couple of videos car camping in new zealand uh, that you might want to check out from earlier but um that's all for now from from wellington new zealand on New Year's Day and uh, I'll see you real soon for another video. Bye!